Hello viewers, welcome to another tutorial by Project Maker. Till now we have created a lot of projects as you can see on the screen but we have not created any project related to database. So in this video we will be working with PostgreSQL database. PostgreSQL is a modern relational database for modern developers. So we will be performing basic operations on PostgreSQL database. And PostgreSQL database is open source so we can download it from the internet so let's move to the download page of PostgreSQL database uh, so this is the download page of PostgreSQL database so as you can see the PostgreSQL database supports almost our operating system we can download PostgreSQL database depending upon our operating system don't worry I will share the link of this uh, page in description so you can download the PostgreSQL according to your operating system the installation process of this PostgreSQL is very easy. We have to just click next, next, and the PostgreSQL database will be downloaded in our operating system. So, after you install PostgreSQL in your operating system, just open go to your start button and search for PostgreSQL. So, it is available in P, and as you can see, PostgreSQL here. So, I will just expanding it, and we will be working with command prompt of PostgreSQL. So, our server is localhost database name is PostgreSQL so I have created a different database so I will just write the name of that database which is student and just hit enter so the port number is 5432 we have to keep everything same and the username is also PostgreSQL as you can see and it will ask for password so I will be writing password on the screen but it will not be visible to you so I have written the password and just hit enter so as you can see we have entered into the PostgreSQL database as you can see the database name student has appeared on the left side of command prompt so we will be printing the table student table so for that there is a command called select start from student student is basically our table name so we will be printing all rows and columns from student table so as you can see I have just inputted three rows in this table and five columns as you can see so this time we will be creating a new table called as employee and perform all the basic dml operations on it so for that let's move to our destination folder so this is our destination folder and i already created a python file so we will be creating a table using python in postgresql so before creating a table i would like to show you that there is no such table name employee so i will just select so let's say whether a table employee exists in this database or not so as you can see the employee does not exist so which means that that we have not created any table as employee so we will be creating the employee table using python so let's move to our vs code to create table employee so let's open this file so as you can see i have opened vs code on the screen to deal with postgresql database we will be using psycho pg2 named package of python which is basically created to deal with postgresql databases so after that i have created four variables host name our database name username and the password of that user to connect this script with postgresql there is only one command called as psycho pg .connect and we have to pass all these credentials in this command such as db name as database name user as db user password as da uh, database password host as database host so we have passed all these variables in this command to execute our dml statements through pipe this script we will be requiring a cursor so for that i have used a cursor variable and in, in that i have written connection dot cursor so this cursor variable will be executing all dml statements of our program so now let's move ahead so as you can see i have written here as creating a new table so to create a new table there is a command in dml which is as create table table name so i have simply written the same i will just uncomment this so as you can see i have used cursor.execute method which will execute this statement the statement is create table employee so our table name will be employee and i have passed by column name as emp id the data type of emp id will be big serial it will be not null and it is primary key so as it is primary key it will be get updated automatically and after that i will use a second 
column as emp names i have passed given database as varchar and size of 100 and not null after that i have just written the emp mobile number and big cl and it is not null let's run this program and check whether the table emp has created or not so i will just click a run button here and as you can see the command is printed here using this print statement and the message table created successfully has appeared on the screen our table is created successfully but it will not visible on the command prompt of postgresql so for that we will be adding some one or two values in this table and after that we will just check that the database is really created in postgresql or not so i will just close it now and comment it because if we keep it and comment the table will get recreated so we don't want that so let's insert few values in our database so for that i already written a code that add new data in table i will just uncomment it now so as you can see i once again written the cursor.execute statement here and it will execute the statement which is insert into employee emp name and emp mobile i have included only two columns here because emp id will be get updated automatically by postgresql database so this is a benefit of using postgresql database and i so let's move ahead and i have just added some values in this database as atul and his mo mobile number so our first emp name will be atul and his mobile number will be this so let's run this program to see whether the value is added or not so as you can see the message is printed and data added successfully so now let's check the command prompt of postgresql database so i will just open database of postgresql so before it was generating that error that employee table does not exist so i will once again run the same query and just hit enter so as you can see our table is created successfully and it has also displayed that emp id 1 emp name was atul and his mobile number was this so we have created a table in postgresql i will be also showing the table using gui of postgresql up at the end of this video so let's move ahead so let's insert one more value in this table so i will just change the name here so let's make it ajay and i will just change the mobile number so i have saved the program and let's run the program one again to insert second value in the table so another so again data added successfully so let's add one more data and then check the database so let's our third name will be let's say amar and just change the mobile number so let's rerun the program so we have successfully inserted three values in our database title as employee so let's check on common prompt of postgresql so i will just once again execute the same query and as you can see our three values has successfully stored in the table so let's perform some other operations on this table so i will just close this now and commenting it once again so now let's display some specific value from database so i will just uncomment this section so in this section i have added cursor.execute method which will execute the statement select all from employee where emp name is equal to ajay so let's check in our database the emp name ajay exists or not so this is our database so there exists a name ajay but the first letter of ajay is in lower case so we will be just changing that in our program so i will just make it small and save the program and in the next line i have just used fetch all method which will fetch all the results related to the query above so let's run the program and see what happens so as you can see our query was select all from employee where emp name is equal to ajay so the print statement has not updated here that's why it is printed ajay so leave that and our and the output is to the emp id of ajay was to the name was ajay and his mobile number as you can see on the screen so let's execute the same statement on command prompt so i will just write the same statement here so as you can see the statement is select all from employee where emp name is equal to ajay so as you can see only data related to emp is appear on the screen so this was selecting a particular value from database so let's move ahead let's try some another operation Suppose we want to update specific details related to Ajay. To do that there is command called update. So for that here is the code. 
So as you can see, I have written cursor dot execute statement here, and it will execute the statement update employee set emp name is equal to Aditya, where emp id is two. So our emp id two is two Ajay. So the name will be get replaced to Aditya after we execute the program. So let's check this happens or not. So I will just simply run this program, and the rest of statements are same as you can see. So as you can see, printing and details updated successful as printed here, and values are appear on the screen. So let's check the same using command prompt. Select all from employee. So as you can see, the name Ajay has replaced with Aditya on the database, and the updated row has appear on the last line of the database. Let's perform delete operation using the same program. So I will just close it now and comment it once again. So if we want to delete a particular record from table, we have to use delete command of DML to delete a particular record. So for that, I will just uncomment this part. And as you can see, in the main print statement you can just avoid this, and the cursor dot execute, which will execute the command delete from employee where EMP ID is equal to three. So our EMP ID. Three is Amar and mobile number as you can see. So after executing this program, the data related to employee Amar will be deleted from our database. So let's check this happens or not. So I will just run this program. So as you can see, data deleted will appear here and printing table will change. So there are only two values present in our database as you can see. So I will just once again run this. Command S select all for employee to check whether the changes has appeared in database or not. So as you can see, it has written only two rows, Atul and Aditya. As you can see, so we have performed almost all DML commands on our PostgreSQL database. So before moving to the next two commands, which are truncate and delete, I will be showing the table on the GUI or PostgreSQL database. Okay, so I will just minimize this screen. Click on Start button, scroll down, and search for PostgreSQL. It starts from P. Expand it, and this is the GUI of PostgreSQL. Just click on it to open it. So it is starting. It will take some time to start. So let's wait for it. So as you can see, we have opened PostgreSQL here, and it is asking a password for me. So I will just type the same password that I stored in my program, and just click on OK. So this is GUI of PostgreSQL database. So let's check our table. It is once again asking for a password. So I will write the same password this time and just click on OK. So as you can see, the lot of information is available on the GUI of this database. So to execute our query, I will be just clicking here as you, on this icon of Query Tool. So I am opening it and just we will be writing the statement that select star from employee and just hit semicolon and i will just click on run button which is available here so as you can see the same data is appeared here so this was entire gui of postgresql database so let's move back to our program to execute the last two commands of dml so i will just close this now so last two commands remaining are truncate and draw so basically the truncate command is used to delete entire data from database but the table will exist and drop command will delete entire table so this is the basic difference between truncate and drop table so i will just try those two commands so for that i will just uncomment these two statements so i will just execute the statement that truncate table employee so this will erase all data from employee table so let's run it So as you can see, the all data from table created successfully. So it is created. Actually, it should be deleted. So it it was my mistake. We just avoided it. So this tells that all data from table has deleted successfully. So let's check whether our entire data is deleted from table or not. So let's open command prompt. Select all from employee. So as you can see, the table exists, but there is no data available. So this was our truncate command. I will just close it now. And the last is drop table. So this drop command will delete the table from our database. So I will just uncomment this. Then let's run the program to see what happens. 
so as you can see table delete is successful as appeared on the screen so let's verify the same using command prompt so i will just one second right here select all for employee so the same error is appearing that employee does not exist so our table is deleted from our database so let's verify the same from our gui so i will once again execute the same statement so as you can see employee table does not exist so our employee table has been successfully deleted from our database so let's move back to our program so these were all basic dml commands on database and there is one more point here which i forgot to tell you that we have created the connections here so after we execute the statements we have to close all, all those connections so for that i have just written here as connection.commit so this statement will commit the query and after that we have to close the cursor and the, we have to close the connection so these two statements will close the connection that we opened at the top of the program so this was our entire program to deal with postgresql database so here comes the end of this video if you like this video then share it with your family and friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you face any query during execution of this program you can simply comment below or message me on instagram so thanks for watching this video